In this facility in Germany, all kinds of explosive ordnance used for military purposes in a number of countries are destroyed, including cluster bombs. If these are kept beyond their expiry date, they are too dangerous to be stored in weapon stockpiles which contain billions of these devices. But what can be said about such precautions in light of the thousands of victims of these weapons? Deployed for the first time by the Soviet and German armies during the Second World War, cluster bombs have been widely used ever since. A total of 440 million have been dropped since 1965. These attack weapons are, in theory, used against military targets. Once released, it is impossible to control their trajectory and they land indiscriminately on both their military target and civilian areas, killing and maiming the people who happen to be there. Designed to explode on impact, 5 to 30% actually remain intact. Not only intact, but also dangerous, as they may explode at any moment. At least 29 countries and territories in the world are affected by the presence of unexploded submunitions following periods of combat. Nearly 40 years after bombing raids, Laos is one of these areas. These are American cluster bomb units, or commonly known as CBUs. What they uh, they come in two halves. And when they're dropped off the aircraft, they split in half, spreading the, the bombies, as they call them here, or bomblets, over a wide area. Each cluster bomb holds about 670 uh, submunitions, or the bomblets. In this area here, this fence here, uh, there's about 450 of these, so in halves, so about 225. So probably, uh, possibly 150,000 odd bomblets were dropped in this area. Of this specific type of bomblet, they estimate about 30% of them uh, did not operate correctly. In other words, they didn't function. So you, by those estimates, about 45,000 remained in this area after the war. Dispersed randomly over tens of hectares, often active long after a conflict ends, and indiscriminately harming military personnel and civilians, these weapons, like anti-personnel landmines, violate the spirit of international humanitarian law. Okay, we're dealing with a BLU-97, it's a cluster bomb, it was dropped by NATO forces. What happened, because of the condition of this ground, you can see it's pretty soft. Uh, you'll probably find that a lot of these cluster bombs didn't detonate on impact of the ground. So uh, this whole area is probably contaminated with unexploded cl uh, cluster bombs. What are you going to do now? Okay, once again, we're going to have to destroy this bomblet in situation. The slightest movement of this bomblet could cause it to, to explode, so we'll set up a charge and uh, we'll demolish this item in situation. In most of the countries affected by submunitions, children do light agricultural work, look after the animals, look for wood. Their curious and carefree nature does the rest. With details of
دي من قد ما تي دي اي منا وقصوا هي منا وصاب عدني اثنين وهذا الاخ انقطع من منا هم عنده بعد عمليه يعني لحد ما نحن صرفنا عندنا وما عندنا حتى غراض بيتنا معناه